she is on a mission to spread hope and serve our community. And tonight, we want to show you why Carmen Townsend is one of our 12 Who Care winners. As Heather Crawford reports this evening, Carmen is carrying on her son's legacy. A lot of us remember JT Townsend, right? She's helping improve the lives of children and adults with disabilities. I had the opportunity to see Carmen Townsend in action when she helped bless three children who have special needs with adaptive bikes through the JT Townsend Foundation. It's a foundation her son started. <laughs> Carmen Townsend's imprint on the First Coast can be seen in the smiles of children like four-year-old Luke. We want to give back to our community. We want to give them hope. We want to give people like Luke and other children the chance to be normal, to ride a bicycle, to enjoy life. His new adaptive bike is giving him that opportunity. Oh, look at that. It's such a blessing to our family um, to get this bike, to, to have somebody who loves and cares so much for our community. It's a community Carmen says took care of her family after her son suffered a spinal cord injury while playing football for Episcopal High School in 2004. JT Townsend was 17 when he was paralyzed from the neck down, but that didn't stop him from making a difference. So there is nothing impossible that he could not do with the grace of God. And I just thank God for the prayer of everyone who got involved because it does take a village. Her son started the JT Townsend Foundation to help children and adults with disabilities improve their mobility and quality of life. In 2013, he died suddenly. Carmen is carrying on his legacy. Ooh, it's almost a circle because somebody came to me and talked to me and encouraged me. That gift that they gave to me and the gift that I already have with God, right? I tried to pass that on to encourage them. I know it's hard, but you can do it. Uh -oh. Carmen is the giving chair of our organization, so she is the heart and soul and face of our organization. She really is the epitome of offering hope to others yeah. in the community. Yeah, three of them at one time, wow. Since its inception, the JT Townsend Foundation has provided more than $1.3 million through services, adaptive equipment, and therapy to help families on the First Coast. I get the opportunity to be a servant. I get the opportunity to meet other people who have gone through similar situations as myself. I get the opportunity to be a witness. It's her faith that has sustained her, a faith that has led her to make a difference. I'm excited to give it to you. <laughs> faith is hope. Faith is doing the impossible. I believe with the JT Townsend Foundation, it's by faith because I believe that we are doing the impossible. Helping more than 800 families so far, she is continuing to pay it forward with a heart full of gratitude. Three. JT, JT give back. Anyone had to do with the JT Townsend Foundation, anyone had to do with JT other Townsend families, I am grateful. I'm grateful for your generosity, your time, your monetary, your prayers, your thoughts, I am I am grateful. Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm thankful. And we are thankful for what she's doing to help make the First Coast a better place. She wants to help more children and adults with disabilities through the JT Townsend Foundation. Applications for assistance are accepted year round. Just visit firstcoastnews.com and look for this story for details. Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side.